What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today iOS 8 Beta 3 has been released. So I wanted to go ahead and walk you guys through all the new updates and changes that have come with the new update to iOS 8 Beta 3. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is called Handoff. So if we open up our settings here and we tap on General, you can see a new toggle for enabling Handoff. And basically what Handoff does, to give you an example, is let's say you're working in an application and you're typing on a document. So you can easily transfer that work directly to your iPad or your Mac seamlessly. So if I start to type on here and let's say that, well, I'd be a whole lot easier if I could type on my Mac or my iPad, then you can easily just jump over to that and it's going to hand off that document to either of those devices. So a very nice feature coming to iOS 8. So right here, you're gonna have the ability to toggle that on or off. Also a new little addition that we got to beta three is a new iCloud Drive welcome screen. So you can see right here, basically it's just explaining to you what iCloud Drive does and it tells you that you can either upgrade your iCloud Drive or keep using the iCloud documents and data. So this is basically all that this is and it gives you the ability to upgrade whenever you need to. Also, when you're setting up your device for the very first time, you're going to see this new opt-in screen, which is basically just asking you to allow iOS to share crash data and other analytics information with developers. So you can opt in for that or not, just whatever you want to do. Also, we finally got some new wallpapers, as you can see right here. If we jump into our settings and we go down here to wallpaper and brightness and we open that up, obviously we have the default iOS 8, but we also got a white gradient looking background right here which isn't that exciting but we still at least got one new wallpaper now everybody knows about the brand new feature called quick type that's coming to ios 8 which basically gives you these suggestions that learn how you type and everything and it gives you those suggestions while you type well you can see right here if i open up the messages that i don't have that right there and that's basically because there's a new toggle that allows you to turn off quick type so you can see right here if we go into our settings and let's go back a few let's go into general scroll down here to keyboard and then you can see that we actually have quick type disabled so you can enable that and if we go back to our messages then you can see right here that the quick type has been enabled now I noticed if you turn it off there still is a gray bar right here so you will have to actually close out of the application in your app switcher just like that and then the next time you open it up there won't be that uh, gray bar right there so just keep that in mind also, if you're not a fan of having to go into your settings to turn on or off quick type, then you can easily do so within the keyboard. So you can see right here that we have a little smiley face. If we tap and hold on that smiley face, you get your emoji keyboard, your English keyboard, and your quick type. You can turn that off just like that. And to turn it back on, just do the same thing and it pops right back up. So a nice little shortcut for you right within the keyboard. There's also been a few minor tweaks to the Weathers app design. So if we go ahead and open that up, you can see right here if we scroll down that they changed this up right here, this section. It used to be in two separate columns, but now they've actually centered it. And I think it actually looks a little bit better than it did before, just because it looked a little too cluttered for me in that other layout. Now another really cool feature that you're gonna be able to get in iOS 8 Beta 3 is Wi-Fi calling. Now you can't actually do this on any carrier but T-Mobile, and unfortunately, I'm on AT&T as you can see right there, so I can't actually showcase this feature for you guys, but it should be coming to other carriers hopefully pretty soon. Also in the notification center, you can see if I swipe down and we tap on the X, you get a new little clear button. So that just looks a little bit different to the previous design iOS 8 Beta 3 also brings a new version of the Find My iPhone and Find My Friends app. So the Find My Friends app actually now lets you move your friends list to an iCloud account, which is actually pretty cool. Also in the Photos app, shared photo streams are now simply called shared albums. And additionally, items in the recently deleted now have a label showing the number of days in which the photo is going to get permanently deleted. So you can see right here, if I go all the way back, we have a recently deleted. So if we tap on that, you can see that this photo is going to delete within 30 days or actually on that 30th day. And jumping back into the settings here, if we open that up and you can see that we're in messages right here and all the way at the bottom, we have a new toggle that says we can automatically keep audio and video messages. So that's basically just going to save that directly into your camera roll. And last but not least, we have an update to our health app. So you can see right here, if we open that up, I've actually added steps to my dashboard, as you can see right here. And this is actually going to start tracking all of your steps. So if you have iOS 8 beta three 
on your device and you start walking around with it, then it's going to track all those steps for the day. Now, there's reports that's actually this has been tracking for the past seven days. So this hasn't been my main device, so I haven't kept it with me. This has been basically on my desk, but you can see it's only showing six steps right now. And that's basically just from me walking around a little bit right before this video just to get some data on there. But if you do upgrade your main device, which you've been using and walking around with, then you should see the data back to seven days. So maybe I'll walk around with this a little bit and see how well it tracks the data. So that's all the updates that we have for iOS 8 beta 3 right now. But if there's something I missed, make sure to let me know in the comments below if you guys find anything. And as always, if you want to see more iOS 8 videos as well as everything else Apple, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.